Hey guys, well fancy seeing you here again. Today I'm going to very quickly review a website that I've been using to sharpen my language skills. So firstly, this is not an advert, I've not been paid, I've not been asked by this website to talk about them or promote them anyway. I'm just being honest because I've used this website for a few days now, but I can already tell it's going to be so useful in the future. I'm usually quite sceptical about software or online courses because they feel quite impersonal and they're usually not... Um, very easy to follow which is why I'm filming this because I'm so excited by the way this particular website works so as you can tell by the title it's Duolingo like I said I'm usually quite skeptical and I'm a little bit against this type of language learning usually but the reason I really like this particular website first and foremost it's free which you know is really really good but secondly it's the way that it's so intuitive the reason I found it so good so far at least is because it kind of will speed up and slow down with you so if you don't understand something it'll kind of repeat on itself in order for you to understand it and to memorize something better and if you get something straight away or maybe like me you've learned the language in the past but it's all kind of gone or most of it has if you remember certain things it will basically kind of get that and it'll move you through much quicker in those areas it's kind of hard to explain so I guess the best thing would be to go on there so I want to very quickly show you one little lesson on there so at the moment I'm learning German check out me having a go at it okay guys so once you've signed up to Duolingo and you've selected a language you want to learn, this is what you'll be presented with. So as you can see, I've already made a start. So what you'll do is you'll click through to one of the lessons. Um, so I'm currently up to this one here, present one. Um, so teaching you the present tense and I'm on the third lesson. As you can see, it's a very simple interface, really easy to use. So if I click on one, so we'll present it with a few mini tasks like this and we'll go through and basically slowly build up your skills. So on some of them, you can actually look at the translations so that you can work out roughly what it's trying to ask you and you can kind of memorize things. Here we are. It's We just kind of go through. So if you make a mistake, it will give you the correct solution. It will tell you what's not quite right. And the good thing is, is that this will probably come up again in a little while, and I'll see if I can then remember the mistake I made previously. Ich kenne den Vogel nicht. Ich kenne den Vogel nicht. So the sign code is used to come back. So two ways it does that is through your streak, i.e. if you come back continuously every day and you meet the goal that you set yourself, uh, you add to your streak, which you know is quite a good thing, in my head at least, it makes me want to continue. Uh, and the other thing is you earn lingots, which are kind of like rubies you can spend in the virtual store. They don't really amount to much, but it's a nice fun way of kind of encouraging you to, to buy little things. It's kind of funny and it's a, a little joke. So aside from the actual tests themselves, the other great thing you can do is discuss with people all sorts of things regarding languages and how you're doing with a particular part of the course or just anything you want really, it doesn't have to be specific to that. You can immerse yourself. So as the website itself says, you can practice your skills by reading and translating real articles from the internet. Some sentences have been translated by the Duolingo community, whilst other sentences still need to be translated or improved upon. And another great thing is it actually tracks your use of actual words uh, and the strength that you remember them with. So at the moment, mine are all strong because I've been working through the language recently but this will drop over time and it will basically mean that you need to repeat some tests just to kind of refresh your memory apparently I don't know noodling very well although I believe that's pasta and noodles but okay um, so one thing I forgot to mention which I will quickly show you now is if you're not sure about an answer Whether you got it right or wrong, you're not sure why, if you just guessed it and you, you happen to get it right but you kind of want to work through something, or if you got it wrong and you want to try and work out what's not quite right, there's this great little function called Discuss Sentence. People will actually discuss a specific thing you're working on now, and you can kind of see there are more seasoned people that are on here very often and have studied many of the languages. There are people that maybe haven't so much so it's just a great place to maybe have a little chat about something you didn't quite understand and people are fantastic at actually replying to your queries so at the moment the languages that are available in their entirety are spanish french german dutch 
Portuguese, Italian and Irish, as in Gaelic. There are a few languages that are in beta, which means the course is completed, but they're still kind of working out any kinks. But they are, as far as I can tell, usable. And they are Danish and Swedish. And finally, the languages they're working on at the moment, which they call Hatching, which is kind of funny, are Hungarian, Turkish, Esperanto, Russian, Ukrainian, Romanian and Polish. So it's great because actually these courses are being created by native speakers, not just native speakers, but by speakers of these languages. It's really good as a website because it's a real community. You can discuss things you're not sure about and just generally I can't sing its praises enough. But like I said, I know this sounds like a big fat advert for this website, but honestly, no one has contacted me and no one is paying me for it. I just got really excited the way this website works and its simplicity and the way it kind of pushes you and slows you down when you're not sure about things. And I think it's a really natural way of learning something. The layout and the format of the website itself is super easy to use. It works in all browsers and I believe there are apps for Android, Apple devices and Windows Phone, but even if you don't, it works in most browsers anyway, so it'll work on most laptops and tablets, uh, desktops, and it's just generally a really, really good website. I can't even explain how much I love it right now. It actually makes you excited to go on to the next level, and in a way, it kind of turns it into like a kind of game. It gets you to compete with yourself. What you can do is earn rewards for the amount of time you spend on the website each day, and I know that sounds really silly, you're like, well, I don't wanna win a silly reward, but it actually does encourage you to spend time on there and to try harder. The last great thing I'll say about it is the fact that you can actually refresh your memory on previous lessons, but not necessarily by doing the same lesson over because it can get repetitive and boring, but it actually gives you the opportunity to do like a refresher which takes parts from the different lessons, which basically just reminds you of bits and pieces that you've done earlier on, so you're always remembering things again. But yeah, I'm gonna stop banging on about it now. All I'm gonna say is that it's a really good tool if you want to learn any of those languages I'm sure there will be more on the way I'm hoping I'm hoping that there'll be some non Latin languages coming up um, although there are a couple of critic languages but I'm hoping there's maybe some East Asian ones possibly Arabic coming up which would be also be really exciting to learn in this way but thank you guys so much for watching if you've got any questions I will try and answer them if you want to leave me a comment if not head over to the website itself I'll put it in the description below because I love it so much I don't know if you've noticed by now but yes thank you so much for watching this quick little video and um, some new stuff is coming out soon thanks bye